Look at little man. <laughs> Always in the dirt playing with his little toy cars, isn't he, babe? That's what I used to do as a kid. I did play in the dirt. With my toy cars, that's the only time I got dirty. I got dirty for my cars. Anyways, I'm heading out. Gonna go pick up some heat for the Cobra. Give you guys a little bit of an update. We did get a new hood for the car that doesn't have hood pins in it, but it's not a factory hood. It's an aftermarket OEM replacement hood. For right now, this might work. So I may be just selling this hood. I don't know. Still undecided, but anyways, we're gonna go hop in the truck and go grab some new seats for the car. Sorry, Starbucks, I'm cheating on you with some Dunkin'. What are you doing? Yeah. Bye. Love you, man. Why don't you come with me? Huh? Why don't you come with me? Because I want to let the kids play. All right. The boys need to play in the dirt. Okay, we'll let them play. All right. Bye. Love you. Damn. Hmm. Yeah, she's hot. We are arriving over here at a storage facility where we're gonna meet up with Colin, who has the seats. So, I don't know if he's here yet. Just pulled up, I don't see him anywhere. So I'm gonna message him and maybe he's inside, I don't know. Oh shit! Dude, that thing sounds good. Yeah. yeah. What's up, dude? Long time no see. You too, man. Truck dude, looks this good. Thing. Oh, it's dirty right now. Congrats. It's dirty. This thing looks good. I like yeah. It's got a Kenny Bell camps. Dude, that thing sounds so good. You don't see these very often. Let's see that Kenny Bell. I'm the weird guy that walks around the camera. Okay. Got a whole cool Kenny Bell on it. What size Kenny Bell is that? 2.3. 2.3? Yeah. Belt motor. All right, so let's see. What do we got here? I'm sitting in here. Do you think I'm like crap on them? I meant to come. Oh, dude, these them. things are pretty nice. They are. They're nice. pretty new, though, right? Yeah. Like they're and this is like different. This reminds me of the Fox Body. Yeah, so like the Fox Body Halo. Yeah. yeah. So you take payments, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, one payment. One payment. <laughs> oh shit! Uh, I like that. <laughs> able to get these to fit. That's the passenger? Yeah. There you go. Bam, there we go. Yeah, it looks good. There's the money. I'm gonna, I just printed that, just printed it, printed it. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a history on Colin. He actually was the previous owner to Ego Killer, Sean's Cobra. Sean yep, bought it over you. Yep. Yep. Cause when Sean was looking for a Cobra, I was like, hey, I know Colin's selling one. Yeah, that's awesome, dude. Thank you. I really yeah. appreciate no it. No problem, bro. Fun. Yeah, I will. Yeah. I'll and see you uh, next time. yeah, let's see uh, rip a burnout with the lightning. <laughs> I will out there. Out there. All right, I'll get behind you. All right. All loaded up. Oh boy. I'm surprised they actually fit in the truck. But there we go. I'm six. I'm excited. I can't wait to see how those look in the car. They're gonna look good. This thing is so loud between these storage buildings. We're gonna get him to rip a little bit of a burnout for us once we pull out of here. He said that truck is making around 580 torque to the wheel. Actually didn't do too bad. He got a lot better traction than I thought it would. But that damn thing sounds good. That sounds awesome. All right, guys. So now we're gonna head back to the house and hopefully get these seats in the car. And we're gonna probably end up selling the old seats.
I'm home. Was that fast? Yeah. He's like a mama trying to go check out. <laughs> she thought they were in the back. What do you think, hon? Wow. This is so amazing, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Do you love them? I absolutely love them. You like them too, buddy? He's like staring at the steering wheel. Look at him. He wants to get in the truck. That's what he wants to do. Show them what he does in the truck. Is it your butt? My butt? No, that's a wheel bearing. What? I could hear the wheel bearing when you were coming down the road. Could you? It's bad. Oh, when there's music on, he just dances, don't you, buddy? Just got back from picking up the seats right now. I'm waiting on Alex to get here because I'm going to shoot another little video with his car. Because Alex said he's going to be here in probably about 20, 30 minutes. And I doubt that I will get that done before he gets here. I will probably maybe get one seat unbolted because typically when I start working on stuff, I tend to run into problems, don't I, buddy? Yeah, so, all right, we're gonna start it and see what kind of mess this is gonna be because I've never removed seats in a new Edge or Cobra. Excited, buddy? Yeah. All right, first step. Front bolts out. Once I get everything out of the car, that'll be the perfect time to actually get a real good thorough vacuum. And we'll be able to get into all the tight spots that we normally don't get to vacuum, right, bud? Right. All right. There we go. First seat out. All right. So two bolts so far in the top. I'm not sure if that is correct. Everything's been kind of weird in this car. And I'm not sure that lower seat when I took it out, there's like these little push pins that you have to push in. Took me a second to figure that out. So you just stick a flat head in there and then pull those out and sounds like Alex is pulling up. What's up, girl? What's up, brother? Yep. What's up, Logie? All right. Got a Dodge though. What's up with that? They give so, those away, right? Yeah, they give those away. That's Royal what I King. thought. Royal King? Oh, nice. We've right. got those for them at Royal King, but look at that. How you like my interior? It's pretty much stripped out, almost. All right. So we got some work to do. Yeah, it's not that bad. I actually, when you said that you were about 30 minutes out, I was like, oh, I'm gonna just start ripping it apart. There's the old seats. I haven't pulled the new seats out. What I want to do uh -huh. is take the old seats and the new seats, put them side by side, and kind of get like a thumbnail. Okay. So. Let's do that. They're in the truck. Maybe line them all up? Yeah, and they kind of like lay at them, you know? Oh, yeah. Alex is like, my turn. <laughs> Thumbnail. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you always walk up perfect time. <laughs> Practicing my modeling career. I think I'm gonna take off soon, so you might want to follow me. AP Spolin. AP Spolin. Yeah, his Instagram will be right here. Yep. And, I'm uh, just saying, Bex, you better watch out. Yeah, I got a lot of dudes and girls coming after me, so it's it's pretty crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta get a butt picture. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, you can use my discount uh, code if you want to also. What's that? Uh, 18 manifold on a 16 tick. Dot com. <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate troll, man. <laughs> ultimate troll. Yeah. Let's uh, get these things in the car. I want to vacuum the car. We got everything all vacuumed out. The carpet actually cleaned up really nice. So we're just going to go ahead and put these seats and everything in there and we're not going to bore you guys with an install. It's the day after our original interior install. Alex came back. He's in the garage doing some stuff. That's going to be a whole entire different video. It's going to be something good. We're going to take a look at the interior now that it's daylight. Let me now that right there looks good. I wasn't sure about the headrest, but now they look awesome. Colin said that these were called halo headrests. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think of the halo headrest. I'm really digging them. At first, I wasn't sure about it, but now that they're in the car and I'm seeing it, it's something different. I haven't seen another Cobra with them, and I think they just look amazing. And we've also got the rear seats that are matching now, 
and I like the fact that the Cobra logo actually stands out a lot more now. What do you think of the seats? I like them. You do? Yeah. They look so much better. That's a seat. Yep. Of course, we got our GT500. Yeah, the GT500 is definitely looking good, isn't it, buddy? Yeah. We cleaned it the other day, didn't we? Hey, Alex, you haven't seen the video with the uh, Starbucks barista yet, have you? No, I haven't. You haven't? What happened? Dude, she freaked out in the Cobra. Oh, really? Re I mean, freaked out <laughs> in the Cobra. Because I was like, okay, we'll just take her for a ride in the Cobra. Uh -huh. <laughs> but she hasn't gone for a ride in the GT500 yet. Ooh, you gotta do that. Oh, I'm going to. Yeah. I'll have to show it to you. Oh, yeah. Get a little swirly in there. Take yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about it. There you are, instigating shit again. Yeah, I know. Now, uh, now I'm over here too much, man, using zip ties and doing donuts. I don't know if that's good. Oh, shit. <laughs> Do you have zip ties on this? Uh, I actually just cut one that was hanging from here. Uh -oh. But uh, I, I try not to use zip ties on my exhaust. It gets a little a little toasty under there. So. <laughs> it yeah. doesn't last very long. Yeah. Maybe one trip to the store. All the bald eagles coming out of there usually shoot them off, so I don't like throwing <laughs> zip ties at people. Yeah, you but know. all right, let's get this thing wrapped up so we can uh, get your video going. Yeah. Have you seen the seats yet, babe? Have you? You haven't seen them in the car? Okay, bud. My little buddy. You said he's wet? Not too wet. What do you think of the seats, hon? They look good. They do? Yeah. Thanks for getting me new seats. You're welcome. According to everybody that this is your car. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. I mean, I bought that one, but... Oh, yeah? <laughs> Every time, he goes straight for the driver's seat, doesn't he? Now that he's figured everything out, let's uh, let's roll. We don't even leave the property, so before everybody gets their panties in a knot, or should I say wet? <laughs> what? <laughs> we just ride it. Ooh, that's the exhaust. What do you think of the seats? Aren't they comfortable though, babe? Oh yeah. I did not ah! Other girlfriend put it there. A picture of you and the kids. Mm -hmm. Look, my tree lived. That one did. What about your other one? I don't know. I need to look. I thought that one died. Yep. It's dead? Nope. It looks like it has green stuff on it. Uh oh. The weeping willow tree. Let me go record my tree. Really quick. Alright, man. Fuel light is on. Hopefully we make it there first. I guess we're gonna stop off at the gas station. I'm just gonna baby it. This car has come a long way from the day I bought it to now. These seats just took this car to a whole nother level. And at first I wasn't sure about the halo headrest, but now, after seeing them in the car, I'm digging. I mean, I'm digging them. They look good. What do you guys think of them? I'm still trying to sell the other seats, the original seats that were in the car. I had two potential buyers, but then don't know what happened. We are so, so close to 100,000. We just hit, we just rolled over 97,000 subscribers. Also, if you guys haven't followed my Instagram page yet, you gotta jump on that. I just posted a picture of the MGW Shifter. So at first, when I first got this car, I wasn't a big fan of the MGW Shifter. So I started to pull it apart. I was gonna put the original Shifter back in it that the, the owner Maxwell had before he sold me the car. So then as I start pulling stuff apart, I realize, it's like, hold up, why is the MGW logo upside down? So then, first thing I do, flipped it over, installed it the correct way, and it feels completely different. I was like, okay, it's staying. Now, the only gripe I do have about it with the MGW, and it does have that little sound barrier pad in there, but it still makes a little bit of chattering sound. I don't know if any of you guys have the MGW in your car. If you do, 
does yours do the same thing, I guess. But it's just, it's a little bit annoying. Well, I'm going to leave this video off right there. And again, if you guys haven't followed my Instagram, do that. If you're not subscribed, definitely hit that subscribe button. And also the notification bell if you guys haven't hit that as well. So you guys know when the next video pops up, you guys.